Baseball gloves have gotten really expensive. When we started to wonder, do you really need to spend that much on a glove? Colt, this is $100. You have 24 hours to make a baseball glove. Your time starts now. Tosh, this is $100. You have 24 hours to turn this into a glove. Can I just go buy one? No, you can't buy a glove, you have to make the glove. You have 24 hours, your time starts now. So we challenged ourselves to make a usable glove with commonly available materials. Kev, you have 24 hours to turn this $100 bill into a glove that can catch 90 miles an hour, and if it breaks, you lose. You're on the clock. Can, can, can I just use any of the gloves that I already have? No, Kevin, you cannot use the gloves that you already have. Can I use any of the gloves I already have? <laughs> <laughs> and this last $100 is for me, so I'm officially on the clock. And while I'm thinking of a design, we're gonna check in with Cole and see what he's coming up with. I might have to make something because $24 is kind of a lot to have for a thumb guard. That's like a quarter of my budget just for my thumb. What do you think you need a thumb guard for? I don't wanna blow my thumb up. So it's more for safety, but at this point, that's half my or a quarter of my budget. I can't do it. So I think I'm out. So everyone's out shopping right now. I came up with a prototype earlier at the facility, okay. and I think it's a concept that's gonna work. And I'm gonna go with a Frisbee. So my plan is to cut this, and one side will be the fingers, and the other side will be the part for the thumb. And I just need something to connect it in the middle to make a web, and it'll kind of clamp like this over the ball. They're $5, I'm gonna get three Frisbees. That's $15. Well, before we uh, go shopping, I decided to stop by Jamba Juice. Got myself some Jamba, and uh, gonna meet with the guys at the uh, store. So I'm going a more traditional route. I'm, uh, I'm thinking that I'm just gonna make gloves like a glove out of gloves. One really tight layer, so two layers here. Then I gotta find like a really big glove somewhere that'll fit, so that's the next step. So in addition to the Frisbees and the glove lacing to tie everything together, I need something for the web. So I came to Home Depot to pick up truck straps, and these are $10. So I needed something to be able to cut the Frisbees, punch holes in the Frisbees, and cut the sponges. So I got a nail set that I'll drive through the Frisbee. I got a $5 little hacksaw right here, and I got an X-Acto knife. I get some Gorilla tape, $7.50 for 60 yards. So in case my glove doesn't work, I can just make one out of this. Now for my strategy, I'm gonna be going all duct tape for this. Reason is that I think to myself, if I'm at the house and anything breaks, the first thing I go to is duct tape. It's universal. Some different colored duct tape. At some point, the glove's gonna break. So my thought is, what can I make that will be easy to fix so I can go from round to round, do it quickly. I think this is gonna work for some padding. Got this, uh, the shop towels. So I can use that for some of the padding for my fingers. I'm not sure if that's gonna end up working, but uh, let's go ahead and check in with Tosh, see what he's got going on. Found the biggest glove possible, a welding glove. And now I'm looking for hole tamp so I can make room to put the actual webbing in. Yeah. Perfect. Kev, what are you, uh, what are you thinking? What do we got? Trying to see what kind of power tools I can get for a hundred dollars. Nothing here is under a hundred. <laughs> I mean, get whatever this is. <laughs> That's a That's staple gun. Staple <laughs> gun. I need that. <laughs> So yeah. what, do we, what do we got? What do we? What, what materials are we rolling with? Everybody's getting duct tape here, so I was like, I might as well just get duct tape too. Who knows? I've got glove lace. Uh, I've got cardboard already at the facility. What's your projected budget? This is already what seven, eight dollars, and then these are two dollars each. It's what twelve bucks, whatever <laughs> here. <laughs> you know, might have a nice sushi dinner. Everybody's <laughs> running out of budget. So. <laughs> so I'm calling my buddy over at Between the Lines, Tanner. Uh, Cause he said that he could hook me up with some leather straps. How you doing? Good, good. Quick recap. So basically, what we're trying to do, I'm trying to put together a glove for other, or like under a hundred dollars. Uh, and the last thing I need is some um, basically leather webbing. If if you can hook it up, that'd be great. Yeah, no, I can give it to you. Uh, it's three ninety nine. Oh. Sounds good. That helps the budget. <laughs> Thank you. Between the lights the next day. I went with the all duct tape glove. Ultimately, I wanted something that was cool, something that was cheap, and that's something that you guys out there can try and recreate. So here you go. Alrighty, well, I made my glove out of leather because gloves are made out of leather. My main focus was to take, you know, typical glove kind of structure, add some regular baseball lacing to it to make it look like a glove, add myself a nice little pocket. I went with the Frisbee and foam glove. We got a Frisbee cut in half. We got foam, some duct tape, a couple other straps, and some truck strapping for the webbing. So yeah, so I went with cheapest of the cheap. You know, even though our limit was 100, I just did cardboard and duct tape with a little bit of baseball lace in there. I'm Forky, I'm trash. <laughs> our 24 hours are up and we've all got our gloves. Most important thing a glove can do is catch a ball though. So we set the pitching machine to 50 miles an hour, 10 throws each, one point per catch. Let's see if these things even work. Let's go! One! Okay! Yes. Wow! Can I, use, I can use two hands? 
You I can cannot. use two hands. Six. No! Oh, oh. There we go. redeemed himself. Six okay. Oh. No! Oh! Yeah. Seven, out of ten. Seven, seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. That's it's not, pretty good. It's not pretty good. bad. It's pretty good. But the impact. It's pretty good for being Mr. Krabs. Oh. Or is that? Feels confident. Seven out. Uh oh. Yeah. Is that a rip? Uh -oh. Wear, wear and tear. Uh oh. So if it goes through your glove, that's not a catch. I saw. Yeah, I have to catch that's, it. That's still. Yeah. Just gotta pull this back. I have adjustable in there. Ten out of ten. Oh. oh. Come on, Kev. Yeah. I don't. I don't know how I feel about this. Hey! Yeah! That might be it though. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh no. Let's go. Oh no. I'm not the only it's broken. But we didn't oh no. We snapped. Oh no. Do you want to keep going? No. Okay, so you want to move and try to fix it for the next round? I mean, yeah, I have yeah, to. Where did it break? Let's see. Right where I was catching it, you know? Just snapped here. It so. just tore the cardboard? Yeah, we'll so you know, maybe you got to no, just throw no, some extra uh, deck tape on there or something. We'll see. Yep. Yeah, so. I feel pretty All right. Confident. See, what I should have done is I should have reinforced every single piece of cardboard with duct tape. Lesson learned, you know? If you actually need a baseball glove, buy a baseball glove. After round one, Tosh and I are tied in the lead, but we're gonna make it a little more complicated for round two. Tosh, you're gonna stand here, and you're gonna have to catch three balls to your backhand side and have to catch things in the forehand. We're gonna stand in the middle and catch balls above our head, catch balls at our ankles. We get two points per catch. Let's see what happens. Dude, I need you to drop one so I can get ahead. How's the hand feeling right now? Feels great. Feels great, coach. <laughs> I'm not feeling good about this anymore. That was Woo! pretty impressive. Okay, Cole. Cole's got close two for two. We're counting. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's clear right off. Damn! Well, I was so confident that I would not break, but uh, well, I Cole's ended. gonna have to go fix his glove, so he's out of round two with four total points. Yeah. That's gonna hurt. Well, this was like the loser circle over here. We're reinforcing it. The web here broke right off. Honestly, I wasn't expecting it to break that quickly. Okay, my next kind of strategy here, just continue to tape, reinforce. That's all I got right now. My turn. Oh, my, my thumb strap came off. Yep. The first failure of my glove. Are you continuing? I'm continuing. <laughs> I don't need that. Hi. What happened? Where did it go through? There it is. See, the nice part is that I don't think it's gonna be about glove quality anymore. It's gonna come down to just athleticism. Athleticism? And I think I'm pretty good at that, so. I think it's definitely coming down to glove quality. I don't think you're gonna be able to pick balls with oh. that thing. Oh, you don't know that? I Ooh. think, I don't know. Ooh. Kev, how are you feeling? You repaired your glove. How are you feeling ahead of round two? So I repaired my glove and I repaired my body because the last ball, when it failed coming through my glove, it hit me straight in the chest. I, I don't know how I feel about this because my thumb kept slipping out. So I think as long as I can keep it in the web, then I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah, there we Atta go. Boy. Done. Oh, no. Oh! oh. 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 Yeah. Hey, that's good blocking it form is. right there. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, the glove, the glove is actually okay. Maybe I might have to put some uh, upside down tape in the <laughs> web here. <so>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moments away from doing yeah. the same. <laughs> After round two, Tosh is in the lead with 34 points, but it's time to see how these gloves perform in a baseball setting. 20 minutes later. We're here at a baseball field and it's three points per fly ball caught. Damn. <laughs> oh, oh, there it Let's is. Let's go. There it is. First one. One down. Stop. Ooh, nice, nice. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! no. Oh. Uh, undercut. Oh. Ooh! Hey, that's real world. That's real life right there. Yeah. Sometimes you overrun it, you gotta make an adjustment. It's true. I don't know how I feel about this. Do you have yeah. anybody on? Yeah, I do. In the catcher's gear. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yes! What? Oh. Oh, no! <laughs> what happened, Kev? You know, I just had it clank off me. Cardboard hands, you know. Cardboard, <laughs> cardboard hands. After the fly ball challenge, Tosh is in the lead by two points. Time for some ground balls. 
Nine ground balls each, four points per catch. Oh, yep. oh that's oh, what happens! Him. Hop. Oh, oh, it's gone! Oh, I got him! Bad hop, the elements. So this is my moment here to show that I've got soft hands, except for backhands are gonna be terrible. We'll see what we can do here. No! Oh. 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 Nope. Oh! That's really good self-talk. Okay. <laughs> really good. Okay. I need a flawless performance. I need at least eight out of nine. Look at that footwork. Sliding around everywhere on skates. That up. Straight there, right there. Nine for nine. Called it before. Commanding lead. What we got, Kev? My finger straps are, are gone. Trying to get soft hands, two hands. Back hands, though, I don't know. In catcher's gear. You got this. Yeah. You gonna get more than Cole? Uh. No. Yes. <laughs> hey. There yes. Let's go, Kev. Can I can I choose to have all of mine straight up? Oh. Oh. <laughs> that boy, there it yes. is. Hey, that's a good performance with a broken glove. <laughs> After the ground ball challenge, I'm leading Tosh by six points, but we're gonna play first base. Five points per catch and it's bad throws only. This is where my tiny little glove doesn't thrive. Oh. 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 Wait, what? So what you're telling me is all I gotta do is get one and my glove is just as good as Tosh's. Yeah, that's not how that works. That's how it works. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Still added on there. That's sure. <laughs> It's just as good as Tasha's glove. Oh, oh no. Let's go. It wasn't close enough where I could. Four for six. I left the door open, though. Kev, you think you get one? I didn't think I was going to get very many on the ground balls themselves, but I got two, so. Oh, oh no. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, stop. Oh, no. Ah. Yeah. That means Kevin's glove is just as good as me and Cole. Yeah, exactly, yeah. My <laughs> glove is just as good as Tosh. At the end of the real world test, I'm ahead of Tosh by 21 points, but we're about to turn the velo up. Anyone want to try to catch 60 for 10 points? No, I, no. No. Already on the 50 mile an hour, it busted through, so I ain't going anything over that, so that's I'm, I'm out of here. So Kev's bowing out. Cole, are you going to catch 60? I'm in. You're I'm in. in? You're in? Fuck yeah. I'm definitely in. Let's do this. All right, here we go. 10 points for me coming right up. Oh, that was easy. Smooth, Came suave. right at me. All right, so I don't have the luxury of like doing this to the side. Oh, you're gonna go straight oh, up? I, I got no, I, I can't catch it like this. So I'm All gonna right. start here and then move. We each get, we each get 10 points. All right, so 70 for yep. 20 points. Yep. Oh. Oh, wow. right in the pocket. No problem. Mm. That actually failed, We get three, too. right? You didn't feel it, huh? No. We get three. We you get yeah. three? I'm using one of my three to just see one. Wow, what a strategy. I need, bold, I need to like. Full strategy, Cotton, to see how it plays out. Okay. Right. Let's get it, 20 points. No! Oh, dude, how's the glove? Is it still? Glove's okay. All right, all Glove's right. Gloves okay. You got right, one more. I regret, I regret looking at that first one now. Yeah. No! Oh! Hey, if you kept your eye on the ball, you might've caught that on the oh, way down. Yeah. 70 easy enough? You wanna go for 80? 80? 30 points for 80? You in? Bring it on. I didn't catch 70, but I'm in. All right, let's do it. I'm 80. In. Here we go. Wow. That kind of cut on me a little bit. That was great. Oh, right through it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it tore the glove. Oh. It tore the plastic. Look at that. Look at that. It just ripped it the plastic. It tore everything. All right. It just you ripped gonna, the plastic. You're gonna give another shot. I'm definitely giving you another <laughs> shot, absolutely. I'll hold that with my fingers. That's, that's what I needed, right there. Yeah! Wow. Yes! Wow. Yes! I'm still in, baby! Wow. 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 I'm worried. I'm worried now. Oh! Oh! Let's go! 90, let's go! Oh my god. Unbelievable! What's up, YouTube bronies? Before we get farther into the video, let me tell you a little bit about our sponsor for the video, Manscaped, baby. I know some of you bronies got some bush shit going on down there. 
Hey, that shit ain't gonna cut it. Clean that shit up. And our sponsor for the video, Manscaped, is here to help you do that. Whether you wanna go bald like an eagle or just a safe little trim, Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0 is here to help you do that. Read this. Your balls well, thank you. So, in the package, we have the Lawnmower 4.0, beautiful trimmer designed to help you reduce grooming accidents thanks to their ceramic blade and also skin safe technology. And this trimmer has an LED light to allow you to mow the lawn in the dark. The second best tool is the Weed Whacker, it's a nose and ear trimmer. Whatever bush you got, clean that shit up, whether it's in the nose or in the ear. And after you're done cleaning your hairy fucking bush, use a crop preserver ball deodorant and crop reviver ball toner. And it's gonna keep the skin tight and just Nice down there. And the package also comes with the performance boxer briefs, accessories for chargers and guards, and last but not least, this travel bag. The be jabroni and clean your shit down below and make sure you jabroni use my code King of Gico to get 20% off plus free shipping for the boys. Now back to fucking content, baby. I'm still ahead of Tosh by only 21 points. We're gonna go for 90? You wanna mm. go for 90? 90. 40 points are on the line. I got a broken glove and I gotta try to catch 90 just to stay relevant. Let's do it. I think my glove's gonna stick with me right here. Yeah. I think it's gonna serve me well. I have full confidence in my equipment, all right? Cut on you. It did cut on me. I just whiffed it, all right. Oh, that go through? My oh. thumb came out. Oh. Did not bust the glove though. One more. I got one more with a broken glove. Jeez. Yeah! Yes, dude! Jeez. 90! We gotta go to Woo! Uh, okay. Catch it. Let's get it. Ooh. Did that hit? It hurt your hand? That one hurt. God. Pain hurt tolerance, him. baby. Where did it hit? Pop my finger back in place. <laughs> I don't know. You I wanna... didn't expect that. I pop, like went like this and just cracked back into place. It's not hurting that much, but like. Uh, it's going to. Yeah. But the when I think it dislocated right here. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh All right. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh. Didn't break. Didn't break. Did not break, but just, just got top. Just got top. Just rock it out of it. Oh, Ooh, dude. Do you got this? Uh, dude, I gotta get it like perfect. That's the only thing with this glove. Or I need more duct tape, and that's not that's not uh not a part of the rules here. This one. You got one chance. One opportunity. I, I gotta get two hands on it. To Mom's shot. spaghetti. To seize everything you ever wanted. Oh, my oh. God. I wanted to like try and corral, but. That scared the shit out of it. me. That's it. That's it. All right. So after the 90 mile an hour test, Tosh's finger is not feeling very well. Cole's glove did not catch it, which puts him more than 50 points behind me, which means I'm the winner. But I'm gonna go for 100. I'm gonna try to catch 100 with a broken glove anyway, just to see if I can do it. Who with a broken glove. Let's go. Yep. I just missed it, but I'm trying to make sure my webbing's good. All right. Oh, it's tailing away. It ripped it. No! It ripped it. Oh. And it didn't, it didn't break the plastic this time. It broke the leather. Yeah. And I could compensate for this being broken with holding with my fingers, but I got no way of compensating for that. So 100 mile an hour test is a failure. If you like the content, if you liked us failing and making homemade gloves, let us know down below what else you want us to make, what other baseball equipment you want us to make. And that's it for today.